what is your most priceless possession? Is it your morals that add value to you as a person? Maybe it's your character that reveals your behavior and your attitudes, or perhaps your personality that represents yourself to the world. Is it power that keeps you ahead of the game and puts you in a better position in society? Perhaps money that changes everything. Maybe it's your health, your cars, your work, your properties. We all have our desires, but it's not easy to attain all our desires and all that we wish for. But sometimes we do not consider the conditions needed to obtain it. Most of the things in life we cannot obtain for free. That we understand. In the same way in our spiritual life, there is no easy way. There are no shortcuts. There are no cutting corners. We need to be able to detach ourselves from our possessions that sometimes leads us to forget God. The problem is not having possessions. The problem is having too many possessions that we are too preoccupied with material things than things that of God. Jesus has said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. We may possess great things here on earth, but its value is life-limited. But if we store treasures in heaven, it's life-giving, and its value goes way beyond life, and it will be for eternity. Whatever your priceless possession may be, we are reminded not to be totally attached to it, but rather use those possessions to give to the poor and follow Jesus as you store treasures in heaven. Analyze and see what commandments we are not fully living and detach ourselves from concrete things that prevents us from living those commandments in full. Follow Jesus and have a perfect fullness of life. This is Ian Gomez and this is Flight Path, taking off God's grace, cruising in God's love, landing in God's mercy.